Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. So today's video, I am totally taking everything out of my kitchen, decor wise, redecorating. I'm also replacing some hardware um, on my cabinets, which I am so excited about. I've wanted to do this for a long time and it was so affordable, so I really don't know what I have been waiting for. So I'm excited to get those on. I bought some new items that I wanted to show you. One I have right next to me. Look at this beautiful, it's kind of heavy, this beautiful dough bowl. It's so big and I love how deep it is and I thought this would look perfect on my island as just a anchor statement piece and I have some fun things that I picked up from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's that I'm going to put in here and they're also going to make my kitchen smell really good as well as look good. A lot of the decor that I personally like to use is like a neutral farmhouse type look. I just think it makes my house feel really cozy and bright and just fresh. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Also, I always forget to say this, I will link everything that I can, including the dough bowl in the description box down below. All right, so as you can see, I took everything out of the kitchen, everything that did not give me joy, I took it out of here, and now I'll be able to go in and just clean everything down really well. And I did end up leaving these two on top of the fridge. I'm really loving how those look so they can stay, but everything else is on the chopping block. So I think it'll be just really nice to go in, clean this really well, bring things in piece by piece and decide what I really want to go in here and just be a little bit more intentional about it. Before we get started, I thought I would share which cleaning products that I use for my kitchen and I love. The Barkeeper's Friend Granite and Stone Cleaner and Polish I love for all of my countertops. Before, I would just use like your everyday multi-purpose cleaner, but I found that those would leave a little bit of a film on my table and it would not leave it as shiny as this stuff does, so I highly recommend. I actually found this of all places at TJ Maxx at like the checkout line, but I will try to link it if I can find it. For my stainless steel appliances, I love Wyman Stainless Steel Cleaner and Polish. Now the trick with this stuff is you wanna let it sit long enough so that it can work and really penetrate in there so it leaves a really nice shine but you don't want to let it sit too long because it almost like dissolves on your stainless steel so i have found the sweet spot to be around two to three minutes and then finally what i'm going to be using on my cabinets on the inside outside and just everything else is this everyday multi-purpose cleaner by mrs myers this is the first time I've been able to find one of my favorite scents actually in Target. So I was really excited to find this scent. It just leaves everything smelling really fresh. And I don't know, it kind of reminds me of spring. And I feel like we're kind of in pre-spring right now and that just makes me happy. And I'm pretty sure that dirty dishes bring no one joy. So I'm gonna tackle those first. On my heart as her, she was a believer. Sometimes I Love 
All right, the kitchen is clean and shiny, so we are ready to start decorating. And I wanted to show you one area over here above my stove that definitely needs some work that I plan on addressing in this video. So as you can see, I put up these um, command hooks and they have been holding up different like pots and pans and ladles and things like that. I do like that look, but I don't love how the command hooks look. So I am going to address that. So just hold tight. Okay, so I said we were gonna change things up. I moved my KitchenAid. It has been in that corner since we moved in, so I decided I really wanted to change it up, so I moved it over here, and I'm keeping it on that really pretty hearth and hand tray. I will link that down below. It's one of my favorite things. I love it for charcuterie boards, and obviously just keeping my KitchenAid on, I think it's really cute. And then we also have these eggs here. I just can't change that up. I think it looks really cute. I try to keep things grouped together. So this is my little baking group. And then this is the second grouping that I came up with. I really wanted a pop of color here in the corner. So I have this faux thyme greenery that I got from Ikea. Just this really cute candle that comes in a tart. It smells so good. And then the hearth and hand pedestal. This is an antique find and just some of my favorite cookbooks. So it's decorative, but very intentional over here in this space. And you can never go wrong with a really pretty crock next to your oven. It not only looks good, but it's functional as well. I like this crock because it ties in the colors of my kitchen. I use a lot of whites and this warm wood. This one is from Hearth and Hand. And then another thing I like to do is use wood utensils. And then I kind of switch out between stainless steel and copper just depending on the season. Okay, now for my sink area. I try to keep this place especially clutter free because let's be honest, dishes will be cluttering up this area enough. I don't need to add my own decor into the mix. But there are a few items that I think complement any kitchen sink really well. The first of which is this amber soap dispenser. I got this on Amazon as a pack of two. It's super affordable. I will have that linked down below. But what I love about this is I can use my favorite soap and I don't have all of the clutter from the packaging, whether you know it be a bright pink for spring or green for Christmas. I can just pour the soap right into here and it'll be a cohesive beautiful piece of decor that's also functional. Another thing that is really nice to have by your sink is a fun soap. This is a handmade one. It smells so good and it looks pretty as well. And then I just picked up this little jar from TJ Maxx I believe and it's just pretty. I don't know. It's simple. It's sleek and I put this right inside leave it by my sink and I think it's really pretty. It's just a cute, simple statement. And my absolute staple piece that I always have by my sink is some kind of plant. Sometimes it's artificial. For Christmas, I had this cute little kitchen tree that I had dried oranges on as ornaments. I love doing that. So for early spring, I picked up some of this fresh eucalyptus from Trader Joe's. And I think it's also really classic to use just a basic white pitcher as your vase for something like this. I think a white pitcher is such a cute and unique vase, especially for a kitchen, and I love it for by a sink. So that's what we will be using by my sink in this video. Lost again, going back around. Dreaming of a time when I get things right. Lost in the shadows of a million stars.
loving how fresh this eucalyptus looks in here and then I also remembered I had this wood bead riser so I just grabbed that and put it under and I think the sink looks perfect not too busy just enough and functional and now we're going to decorate this dough bowl i'm really excited for this i have more eucalyptus from trader joe's i also picked up this dried lavender from whole foods it smells so good you guys and it comes wrapped in this really pretty brown wrap and they tie it really cute too these are ten dollars a piece so it's a little pricey but they last a really long time and they smell delicious and then I was going to put some lemons in there just for a pop of color and also I thought lemon and lavender together would smell really good. So let's see how this turns out. Telling me I will be fine. Baby, I'm stuck with a halfway heart. Slip away if I come to I wish that I could send how good this smells through your phone or your TV, however you're watching this. It's so good. The lavender with the light scent of lemon. Oh, it's so good and perfect for a kitchen. Also, I know this is a lot of lemons, but I use them all the time in recipes and I also use them to help clean and brighten my sink and kind of wash out our pipes and things like that. So they will definitely get used. Another thing I picked up for my kitchen is this really pretty, almost vintage-y looking rug. And this was from TJ Maxx as well. And it was on clearance for $22. So I really like the pattern and I think it'll really just do something to this area. I think a rug under a sink always looks good. I've been waiting to find one that runs this whole length, but when I found this one on clearance, I figured, why not just buy it and try it out? So here it goes, we're gonna lay it down. It's also non-slip at the bottom, so that's gonna be really nice because I do have young kids to consider. So let's see how this looks. Okay, so right off the bat, I am surprised at how much I like this size. I really thought that I needed something to go the whole length but i think that size looks nice and it works well it kind of complements the sink area it'll be nice to have somewhere to stand that's somewhat comfortable and in my kitchen is inside of my pantry door I'm not going to show you inside my pantry it is a disaster so look out for that organizing decluttering video coming soon but I found this really beautiful vintage poster while we were on a little vacation for my birthday and I have yet to hang it up but I think it's beautiful it just has all sorts of um, I think it's all vegetables. I was gonna say fruits and vegetables, but it looks like Actually, I mean there's some tomatoes. They're technically a fruit, right? Anyway, they have all kinds of kitcheny type foods So I thought it would look good hung up here and to hang it I'm going to use some of this command tape this stuff works really well But it also comes off easily so I won't damage this if I ever need to take it down So it's the next day and my hardware ended up coming in. I am so excited about this. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm just gonna be replacing the horizontal cabinet poles. I'm gonna leave the vertical ones as is, but these are what they look like. Just, you know, the classic farmhouse cabinet poles. So I am just gonna use this little handheld screwdriver for this. And I think I'm gonna be able to use the screws that are already in our cabinets, but this 
pack did come with screws but i think if you use theirs you'll probably have to trim them in order to fit so i am going to go ahead and get started i cannot wait to see how this looks these were so affordable so i will also have them linked down below halfway hard halfway never changed hardware before it's really easy right now you are sitting inside one of my drawers and I have two screws on either side that is holding in my little um, handle so sometimes there will be two screws sometimes there's one uh, it just kind of depends what kind of hardware you have so that's important to know when you do order your new hardware unless you do want to drill additional holes so always check to make sure if you have one or two holes before ordering new hardware so I'm actually going to leave the screws in I find this the easiest way to do this so the screws are in and they're exposed and I'm gonna take my hardware and just line up the holes like that and then you want to kind of Take your screwdriver, start screwing in each side. I usually do a little bit on one side and then a little bit on the other just so they're both held in there. And then you kind of press against the hardware and as you're screwing in the nail and that just keeps it really flush. This is a really easy way to make a big impact in your kitchen is just updating your hardware and as you can see it's really not a hard process it doesn't take long um, you don't need any crazy tools I did decide to go in and add some scotch mounting tape to the bottom of my rug and now it doesn't move at all. Before it was pretty good, but now it is like glued down. So I highly recommend doing this. Okay, so full disclosure, this situation ended up being a complete fail. I was planning on hanging it right here and I ordered some command strip tape from the store that was supposed to hold up to 17 pounds and it just would not stick to the backsplash. I tried it so many times and it fell every single time. So that was not meant to be. I could have drilled this in to the uh, backsplash but I don't really want to do that I don't want it to be so permanent because I like to put signs there and stuff sometimes so I think I'm just gonna leave it plain for now but yeah this was going to be one option this little bar is from Ikea and so are the hooks it was a good thought but it just did not work for us all right guys so i hope that you enjoy the finished look i'm really loving this new kind of rearranged style of my kitchen i think it's just very bright and fresh definitely neutral which is my style but i love the pops of color in my new dough bowl let me know what you guys think of it i'm still adjusting to my KitchenAid being on the other side but overall i'm really loving the change Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you give this one a thumbs up if you liked it and that you are subscribed so you will see all of my future videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.